Hello, my name's Kelly Lemon. I'm a professional artist. I live in Brighton and I'm here to talk to you about System 3 screen printing today. We're going to be painting our screen. This is actually my favourite bit. I find it really meditative. So um, you can do it however you want. You can do it freehand. I've got a design, so I'm doing this um, bee orchid. I did it a bit big, so I've had to snip it a bit. But this is what I want to do my screen print of. So I always um, washi tape it, so like paper tape it, um, this way round. So this is the, can you see me? This is the frame, so this is like the front of the screen. So I tape it on here, like this. Ta -da! We should be ready to paint our screen. And so the first thing we need is our, um, Oh, it's this lovely screen drawing fluid. This is the stuff that's a bit sticky and honey-like, so just practice, you'll get really good at using it. Um, but don't expect it to be like ink. It's not watery, it's sticky. You get this lovely paintbrush with your set. So you're gonna paint this lovely fluid. And obviously, even if you've got a design that you're copying, you can change it up as you go. I actually paint this on quite thickly. So what I tend to do is I paint the screen I would normally leave it overnight, you don't need to, it dries quicker than that, but you definitely want it to be dry and then you apply the screen block and then you leave that to dry and then you're ready to start. The lovely thing about System 3 is the colours are the same across the range. So um, I've started, you've got the lovely um, acrylic paints as part of your kit, the one that I unboxed earlier that you can see. Um, so you can mix those up and you can either use them just acrylic paints or you can add that um, screen printing medium. That's what we're going to do together um, to create your screen prints. But also they've brought out an amazing range of actual System 3 um, screen printing inks and they are so nice. And can I put in a special shout out for the hot pink one? I'm obsessed with pink. And the metallic gold one. They, there's also a silver one. They're really, really nice. I find this whole thing really easy to use because you're the blue of the drawing fluid and you've got this terracotta red of the block and I just find it quite intuitive I sort of because I do get in a pickle <laughs> I get in a muddle with things and I never get in a muddle with this process it's really straightforward it's really easy to use I always know that the blue is where the paint's going to go through that's my actual design make sure you whip the paper away because otherwise this kind of sticky ink will glue onto your page and it will be really annoying so once I finish doing this, I'll whip off the template below and I'll actually also um, shove some blocks under it so that it's not flush with the table so it kind of can dry so the air can get around it. I'll show you what I mean. Um, I hope you can see it there. So that's my lovely orchid and I, again I've painted the inside of the screen, not the outside with that and then I'm just going to try why am i wearing a white dress i'm going to try really hard <laughs> to get this off i have got an apron next time you see me i should be all apron up um i'm going to peel off this design really carefully so you can see how sticky it is shiny but that's my hand painted design we're doing a bee orchid um that's as far as we've got i'm going to prop it up on these blocks over here and obviously you want them all to be the same sort of height so i've got loads of very high tech. The screen block is this glorious stuff so it's kind of gloopy terracotta coloured stuff um, and what you do is you run a strip of it along the top of your design and there you go loads of it I'm such a messy worker I think it's about a 45 degree angle you're gonna press nice and hard and you're gonna run it all the way along and what you can see here oh it's very exciting is that it kind of avoids my drawing which is what we wanted to do and it blocks the rest so i take it one way and then i just flip it over and i run it along the other way and ooh, lots of drips let me just grab that okay one more time for luck and then i really am done so i'm not going to press as hard this time and then i'm just going to leave that to dry um, I'm going to leave that overnight to dry. It would dry quicker than that, but oh, don't drip so gross. Um, but I'm going to leave it overnight to dry, and then, very excitingly, um, tomorrow morning, um, we'll. 
go to the bathroom and I'll show you how you wash your screen and get it ready for printing. Day two. So we've done the screen drawing, which is the bee orchid in the blue. Then we've done the screen block, which is the terracotta. We're now in my bathroom because what we're going to do is your cold water, not hot. And you're going to wash off the blue. So all you need is water. Don't add anything. You just need water. Make sure it's cold. All done. Ready for printing. So I'm going to leave it to dry. Don't scrub it. Don't put a really hard jet of water on it. Just under the shower, nice and gentle. Um, both sides, you just lightly, lightly rub it until all the blue's washed away. And then you can see you've got the clear area and that's where your paint's going to go through. So the first job is to, well I always, um, tape off all these, you see these extra clear bits? I don't really um, want ink to go through all those areas. So I'm just going to tape off all the bits where I don't want paint to go through and I tape it on the inside. I never put the screen block um, right to the edges. I always do it with tape just because it's really hard to clean otherwise it's a bit of a pain. So it's much better if you sort of just do it in the middle bit and then tape off the bits you don't want. So you can kind of see that side, you can definitely see this side that I've put lots and lots of tape over it. So when it comes to cleaning it's going to be so easy because it's not all going to collect in the corners. I'll just peel off all the tape chuck it in the bin and then I'm sorted and what you're going to do is you're going to have 50 50 paint and screen printing medium and we're doing it on paper so we just want the printing medium because um, we're not doing it on fabric today another day that would be fun okay so I'm gonna have a nice pale pink so I want lots of white a touch of red and a wee little bit of yellow because I like that kind of peachy pink I'm going to have a little bit of yellow and remember add the colour slowly because <laughs> it's much easier to add more colour because once you've added it to the white if it's too bright you can take it back out again. Hot press, watercolour paper, lovely. Okay. So now hopefully we'll leave you here. Okay, so we've got our paint mixed up. So you've, you know how much paint you've got in your pot. Don't have to be exact with it, it's really good actually. But you want about, whoop, going everywhere, hence the apron. You want about 50-50, so you want about the same again of this screen printing medium. Now what, the reason we're putting in this stuff is acrylic's brilliant because it dries really quick, it's really easy to use. You don't want paint that dries really quick when you're screen printing because what would happen is it would dry in the screen, it would block up all your holes and it would wreck your screen. So you have to add this stuff, it's like a retardant, it keeps the paint open for longer. Give it a really good stir up. It doesn't, it's amazing actually, you think it's gonna water down the color or change the consistency, it doesn't really, you don't really know it's in there. So it's really good stuff. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put like a strip of it along the top and it's exactly like we did when we put on our screen block. So you um, have it at a 45 degree angle and you pull the paint through and then you kind of tap it off and then you pull it up the other way and then you get a screen print. Do loads and loads and loads and loads of them. Some of them will go well, some of them won't go well. You'll wind up with a lovely big stack that you can play with. Okay, so what we're gonna do is gonna run a bead of this along the top. Quite a lot actually. We've got our paper underneath. We've got our screen up on blocks. So what I'm going to do now is carefully remove my blocks. Squeegee, off we go. So because I haven't fixed it into place because I haven't got the things, you really do need to make sure it doesn't budge because it's going to shift your design. So um, I'm using my elbows to kind of keep it a bit still. And then you do want to use quite a lot of pressure, um, probably more than you realise because you're going to hold it in 90 uh, nine to see, I'm terrible at mass, 45 degree angle, and you're going to press really hard to squeeze the paint through onto the page. And then you can just scrape it off using that lovely scraper again. You're going to pull it back the other way, give it another chance to go through. Oh, oh, 
Oh, it's lovely. Okay, let me show you. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so this is the bottom half of our print. There you go. And you can see the drip where um, I dripped the screen drawing fluid showing through. So this is the bottom. And then, ugh, I'm so pleased with this. This is the top bit. So what's happened is between the first pass and the second pass, I didn't push down my elbows and it jugged, it, um, it, mis it sort of shifted the screen slightly. So I've almost got a bit of a mirror on it. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put these two together and do some collage on it and show you the next stage with how I create my artworks. Um, I'm gonna keep printing stacks and stacks and stacks of these now, but you've got a sense of how I do it. <laughs>